In this video, we are going to do a crochet along for the Greek key border pouch. And what you're going to need is a ball of each of two different contrasting colors and a and this is medium worsted weight yarn in acrylic. And we're going to need a USI 9 crochet hook or five and a half millimeter. Using color A, we're going to start at the center of the front of your pouch. And we're going to start with a slip knot. And you make your slip knot your favorite method. I'm pulling my slip knot tight this time. And then I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do a foundation row, which is not going to count as our rounds. This is going to be a row. And we're going to single crochet in the back of the chain in each across, resulting in seven single crochet in the back of the chain. See, this is the front of your chain. And this is the back of your chain. We're going to go into that bump in the second chain from the hook. So that's the first one and that's the second. And you insert your hook there and you draw up your loop and draw through two. And we're going to go in each across the same way. And there is a reason that we're going into this bump. It's because of the way the center, well you'll see when we get to the second half of round one. You'll see why we're doing it this way. And so we're going to have seven single crochet. Yeah I know it's a little tough but it's only seven stitches you can do this. Okay, this is the last one. So we've got seven single crochet in the back bump and the reason is so that we'll have this nice little V's across the other side. Alright, now we're going to start round one. Round one starts, we're going to chain one and we're going to work into the back. And turn it with the wrong side facing, which is actually going to be the right side of your pouch. This center one here, see that you can see these little lines across the middle? That's the back of the first row of single crochet. And that's what we just did. We chain one and turn. Now we're going to work in the back loop only. So when you look down on those V's, you work just under this loop here. And let's read round one. Work in back loop only, chain one, turn, we've already done that, two single crochet in the first single crochet. So I'm going to do one, two. And then it says single crochet in each single crochet al across. So we're going to go one single crochet at each across. All right. But if you read on, it'll say three single crochet in the last single crochet. So you go across to the last one, which would be five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to put three, the back loop only still, of this last single crochet. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the side of the last single crochet. Okay, well, if you look at the bottom, that's the V of the bottom of it, and this loop is the top. So the side is somewhere in between those two. And what I'm going to do is make it easy, is I'm going to go under that front loop. See that front loop right there? I'm going to go in from underneath that. 
and out the back and draw off my loop and make my single crochet. Okay, and now we're going to turn it and work across that chain. Three single crochet and back loop of next chain. So we're going to the next chain, which is right here. And the back loop is that top of that V. These are going to be a little tighter than the top edge. You still can do it. It'll work. Okay. And then it says single crochet across. So again, we're going to go into the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And we are going in the back loop still. Now we are going to make three single crochet in that last stitch, that last chain. So one, still in the back loop, two, three. Now I'm going to take this tail and I'm just going to pull it back here out of the way. We're going to use a yarn needle and hide that later. And the next part of the directions say single crochet in the side of the last single crochet. So again, we're going to go wherever you can find a spot. Um, I think I'm going to do like I did on the other end and just go under that loop. See this loop here? Go to the left of that. Draw up the loop and make my single crochet. And then it says to make one single crochet in the same space as the first two. So if you look closely, you can see where you made your first two single crochet. There's the top of the one and there's the top of the first one. There's the chain stitch. So if you look at these lines going up here, this last loop right here that's kind of loose, that's the turning chain. So the one below that, this one here, is where you make it. So you want to go to the left of that. But you want to go to the right of that chain. It's like that. So that you have three stitches in that last stitch. So one, two, three. And then we're going to make a slip stitch into that first single crochet. And that kind of slanted right there. Draw up your loop and draw the first loop through the second. Pull that slip stitch tight. And that's what we have. It's almost a bone shape. It will straighten out as we go. If you want to, you can finger block by tugging to square it off. So that is the end of round one.